solve uh, chapter 15 E9. Sound waves have a speed of 340 meters per second as a V equals 340 meter per second and in room temperature air. What is the wavelength? Wavelength is lambda and of sound waves for musical tone concert A which it had has a frequency of 440 hertz frequency as f equal 440 hertz and then in order to solve v equal f times lambda velocity equal speed equal frequency times lambda now you need to figure it out your lambda as wave rings which is lambda equal as v over f V equals 340 meter per second divided by frequency is 440 hertz. Then you need the calculator 340 divided by 440. Then 0 0.7727 meter. 77 meter as wavelengths. Okay, thank you and see you later. Let's solve uh, chapter 15E10, which is what is frequency of a sound wave with wavelengths lambda as 0 0.85 meter and traveling in the room temperature air as velocity 340. Right now, V equal F lambda, right? So you need to figure it out, your frequency equal V over lambda. V equal 340 meter per second, and then wavelength is 0 0.85 meter. Then you can calculate 340 divided by 85 equal 400 hertz. So you will get 400 hertz as your frequency. Okay. Thank you and see you later. Bye now. Let's solve chapter 15 E11. On organ pipe closed to one end and open at the other has a length of 0 0.5 meter. And what is the longest possible wave length for this interfering sound wave that can form the standing wave in the this pipe? Okay. So this case you can using this way one is open end one is closed and the, the length of this becoming l equal 0 0.5 meter and the longest wave is this the open end becoming peak and then the one end closed end should be zero and like this wave which is quarter wave Lambda over 4 becoming your L, which is 0 0.5 meter, which is your lambda becoming 4 times 0 0.5 becoming 2.0 meter, 2.0 meter as your wavelengths, which is the longest wave. And uh, what is the frequency associated with this standing wave if the speed of sound is uh, 340? Right. In this case, your frequency times the lambda equal your velocity, which is comes from your frequency equal as v over lambda. Then 340 meter per second divided by 2.0 meter. Then 170 hertz becoming your frequency for this case okay i will talk to you later by now so chapter 15 e12 suppose that ha we start a major scale on a concert a which is defined as a frequency of 440 hertz if we call this frequency as do and what is idle ratio of me and the soul okay in order to solve this and then you need to know idle ratio between 
Do and Mi. And uh, if you see the chapter 15 and the table 15.1, like this, and your Do to Mi, Do to Mi is idle ratio is 5 over 4. Okay? And uh, then your frequency equal idle ratio ratio times your uh, fundamental frequency which is 440 so 5 over 4 times 440 hertz becoming 550 hertz as your frequency on me okay and if you solve for the sol between the do and sol, the idle ratio becoming three over two here, right? Then f sol becoming ratio of sol times f zero, which is three over two times four hundred forty hertz, becoming. 660 hertz as your frequency okay thank you and see you later bye now so uh chapter 15 e13 if soul on given scale have the frequency of 396 hertz what is idle ratio frequency of dough and then bottom of this scale in this case f sol becoming ratio of sol times f zero which is your do then uh, you already know as f sol is 396 hertz and then ratio of your sol between the do and sol is to table 15.1 do and sol ratio becoming 3 over 2 in this case so 3 over 2 times your f0 and then your f0 becoming 396 times 2 divided by 3 and you will get 396 times 2 divided by 3 becoming 264 hertz as your those frequency okay thank you and see you later bye now let's solve uh, chapter 15 e 14 in just a tune tuning the ratio for a major third is 504 and in equal tempered tuning ratio is 1.26 and if we start a scale on frequency of 440 hertz for dough and what is difference of frequency for me a major third above do on an equal tempered piano and just a tuned piano okay uh, just tuned piano is f me is 5 over 4 just a tune times 440 hertz right becoming 550 Hertz. and then F me for equally tempered is 1.260 times 440 Hertz becoming 1.26 times 440 becoming 554.4 54.4 Hertz and the difference between two, those two just uh, subtract it and then the difference frequency becoming 4.4 hertz between just a tuned and then equally tuned temper equally tempered tuning so 4.4 hertz for this case okay thank you and bye now so chapter 15 e 15 if the door has a frequency of 3 263 hertz rare frequency of 323 hertz what is the bit 
frequency hits frequency produced when those two notes are played together. The beat frequency F beat equal F do minus F re or vice versa as absolute value. Okay, then F do is 263 hertz. F re is 323 hertz. And absolute value then 263 minus 323 hertz becoming 60 hertz as a bit wave. So that is your answer. Thank you and bye now. Let's solve chapter 15 and E16. And if one guitar string is tuned to frequency of 440 hertz, the string on another guitar produces 6 beats per second. What is uh, when played together with the first string? And what are the possible frequencies of a second string? Okay, as I mentioned, F bit becoming F1 minus F2 as absolute value, which is 6 hertz, right? F1 we call as 440 hertz minus F2 becoming 6 hertz. So in this case, F2 could be 446 hertz or 434 hertz. And the 6 hertz difference between your uh, 440 as a first string, then you got F2 as 2 hertz, as 446 and 434 hertz. Okay, thank you and bye now. Uh, let's solve chapter 15, E17. What is the bit frequency that results when an 880 hertz note is played with a 60 hertz note? If this beat frequency is held as a musical tune, how is the tune related to original uh, two notes? And what are the intervals? Okay, uh, F beat you can calculate as absolute value as F1 minus F2. F1 is you can find as F1 as 880 hertz. Minus and then this one F2 as a 6 6 hertz, <coughs> then once subtracted 220 hertz, and then your F1 equal as 4 times of F bit, and also F2 becoming 3 times of F bit. Okay, then that is the frequency, and then. Uh, T1 could be 1 over F1, which is 1 over 880 hertz. So 1 divided by 880, then becoming 1 1.137363 millisecond and f2 t2 equal f2 becoming uh, 1 divided by 660 then 1.15 1.515 millisecond as a time and then uh, interval the frequency, the, the period of bit becoming 1 over F bit, which is 1 over 220 hertz, then 1 divided by 220, then 4.545, 5.45 millisecond. And the interval between that, between T1 and the B, T bit, becoming uh, this minus 
136 times 10 to the power of negative 3 becoming this two frequency interval becoming 3.41 millisecond and uh, that two interval becoming uh, 3.03 millisecond so you got this between these two and uh, like this between t bit minus t1 becoming 3.41 millisecond and then t bit minus t2 becoming 3.03 millisecond okay that is the interval between that and uh, that is uh, uh, bit and uh, original tune original notes the difference and then interval between them okay thank you and bye now